So I'm sure that a lot of you saw this video that Void Interactive put out. It probably had you thinking, what the f*** are they smoking and how do I get some? Well, if it wasn't already clear enough, Void Interactive has created an ARG or alternate reality game. It's essentially a story being told outside of the media that's being shown, only seen by those who are willing to take a closer look. Now, the Red Internet community and I have been following this ARG for a very long time at this point. So if you would like to get caught up on where we're at, you could simply watch my previous videos that you can find at the top right if you click on the eye icon or read a very long and thought out theories that was created by the community down in the description. Those theories just objectively go more in depth than my videos. So if you're interested, it's down in the description. But yeah, today we are going to be digging into a strange and interesting video that Void Interactive released just to try and make sense of it all. What does this video mean? What's it trying to accomplish? Well, those are some of the questions that we definitely hope to answer. But for now, we're just going to analyze what's in it. So let's get into that. So the first four seconds of the video is just white noise. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about it at least not that i can see but i do think that there is a deeper meaning behind all of this white noise and pixelization we'll talk more about it after the uh, analysis here but uh yeah moving on then it shows a video of the old version of the american flag which i believe is called a betsy ross flag named after its creator the betsy ross flag was created during the american revolutionary war the pattern of the betsy ross flag is 13 alternating red and white stripes with stars in a field of blue on the upper left corner of the flag its distinguishing feature is 13 five-pointed stars arranged in a circle representing the 13 colonies that fought for their independence during the war. Since the beginning of the 20th century, the flag has been a popular symbol of American patriotism. Interesting. This will definitely play into a theory I have later, but let's move on here. At around the 10 second mark, we actually see our first human being. And if it wasn't obvious enough, it is the paramilitary force that we've heard so much about, but haven't really seen too much of. And uh, he's actually facing the other way, staring at the flag. And then he's slowly looks towards us and then the camera snaps and faces us but hold on there partner blink and you'll miss it if you slow down the clip there's like a split second of his head turning to the left and the screen is like very bright and i think this could signify the fact that he could have left when he had the chance but ultimately he chose not to like he already drank so much of that kool-aid that it was already too late he was sucked into the darkness and it gets even worse because later on if we slow down the clip you'll see a second of a silhouette a lot of people in the community believe that it's the silhouette of the guy that we see at the very end but we're not entirely sure but if so then that silhouette is being compared to this guy so is he like the next guy in line to take the throne like is this guy going to be the successor like is he really that deep tell me what you think down below because we're going to be moving on and the next scene these guys are kind of like walking around but it seems as if they might be under the influence because one thing that i noticed is that they're kind of like walking around as if they don't actually know where they're going there's even one point where two of them are actually walking and they bump into each other as if they didn't see each other so yeah there's obviously some narcotics involved here which is probably used for some sort of ritual maybe but yeah moving on to the next scene here we see a bright flash and then we see these guys all doing some sort of salute with their right arms although it doesn't really look like a salute to me it looks like they're cupping their hands as if to signal america to come to them or maybe they're just reaching out for like a raindrop or i don't know but before we move on to the next scene right at the time when the screen flashes there is a secret writing blink and you'll miss it m.l.o you see initially i thought that this might have been an abbreviation for this organization like i was looking for anything that was related to m.l.o but my searches really became inconclusive but then as i looked closer at it those little dots in the video look a lot like w's don't they so i thought hmm one what happens if we look this up m w l w o and then i ended up finding this what is the meaning of m w l w o in astro numerology the hell is astro numerology astro numerology is two words put into one numerology and astrology numerology is the mystical study of numbers astrology is the study of patterns and relationships of planets in motion our birth chart synastry with others and makeup of elements that generally have to do with the zodiacs you put them together and it means naturally drawn to investigate the meaning of life. That's what astro numerology means. But what does MWLWO mean in this sense? Well, M is indistinguishable numerically to the number four and speaks to the most profound sense of being, solidness, and strong establishment. The letter M has a high level of self assurance and is along these lines liable to make progress on the antagonistic side. Individuals with the letter M at the start can be compulsive workers 
numbers. Interesting. W is indistinguishable numerically to the number five and speaks to self-portrayal. Individuals with the underlying W are typically exceptionally aesthetic and innovative in all that they do. Adversely, individuals with W as their underlying can be avaricious and going out on the limb. Hmm. L is indistinguishable numerically to the number three and stands for imagination, correspondence, and activity. A man with the underlying L is sympathetic, balanced, and cordial. Contrarily, they can be to some degree clumsy. Okay. The letter O is a standout amongst the most intense letters of the letter set and names start with the letter. The practitioners of the world. On the off chance that O is the principal vowel in a name, the individual has the tendency to be striking and intense. Names with the underlying letter O are pioneers, torchbearers, specialists, instructors, and individuals who demonstrate to others the way. They are pioneers, inspiration, and optimistic visionaries who know about their own intrinsic forces. The letter O is honest, kind, and shrewd. This letter gives tolerance, ability, and is especially dedicated. O compares to the number six to convey the characteristics of administration to others. Benevolence, duty, effortlessness, and respect. So guys, I think this is actually the way that the cult operates with all of its positions of power, at least I think. So the letters also convert to numbers, which have multiple letters attached to them. So I thought that maybe if I could convert them back, maybe there'll be a secret word or something. M is four, W is five, L is three, W is five, and O is six. So I got these letters here and uh, I tried looking at it to see if I could actually come up with something. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem like there's much. I mean, if you guys want to look at it, tell me if there's actually a letter there, then uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything here. There was also some people saying that it could also be a formula. So maybe for like drugs, I mean, it's pretty obvious that they were on some sort of narcotics to be acting like that. So, I mean, it could be a possibility, but we're still not entirely sure. Let's move on to the next scene here. So in the next scene, you see these guys kind of like paying their respects by having their hands in their palms and looking downwards as if they're paying respects to someone, maybe someone that passed away, not entirely sure. But there are two things that I want you to pay attention to. There's a guy with a big flower on his head. We're still unsure as to what the flower is. We thought that it was initially the Tigeridia pavonia, but now I'm seeing people come up with Trillium Gatsby. So yeah, I think the flower is still up in the air. And there's also the possibility of it being changed, you know, for like legal reasons. So I mean, one thing's for sure, this certainly pertains to Carcosa. And it's kind of a callback to one of the previous videos that I covered because I covered that back when I covered the busted video, which I'll just replay that. So now I am going to read you the poem that we believe coincides with this picture. I went into a field of flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are as pure as gold. Far afield a woman cried, I have killed him, I loved. And from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure of gold. Far afield I followed and on the jar I read a thousand names while from within the fresh blood bubbled to the brim. I have killed him, I loved. She cried. The world's a thirst, now let it drink. She passed and afar afield I watched her pour blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure of gold. This poem, we think, essentially encapsulates this picture. The paramilitary force with the Tigridia Pavanovia flowers above their heads, most likely, at some point in time, had hearts that were pure of gold. But someone, or something, tainted them, making them out for blood or out to cause harm to others. And that's pretty much where we're at with that. And you know, I'm kind of seeing a bit of a pattern here. Like we see the white flower, but we don't see any blood. But throughout this video, they have been acting really weird as if they were doing some sort of ritual. Does this mean that they're getting ready to sacrifice someone like their leader to replace him with someone new? Maybe, but I'm just throwing shots in the dark. But that's honestly the vibe that I'm getting right now. What are your thoughts? Before we move on to the next scene, there's one little thing that I want to talk about really quick here. Do I see a double agent? Like if anybody remembers the sniper pictures that were released on their Instagram and you try to compare it to the dude with the hat over there, it makes me wonder if it is the case that this dude is an officer. I wonder whose side he's really on. I guess we won't know until the game comes out. But yeah, let's move on. So the screen goes inverted and switches to what looks like a bunch of guns stacked up against a gun box. According to my subscribers, they named all the guns. There's a AKS-74U, AK-74, some 
sort of FAL maybe, and possibly an SKS in the distance. We're not entirely sure about that one. I don't know. The one in the back kind of looks like an M16 to me, but I don't know. It seemed to get like a brighter picture of that but yeah that's all the weapons we believe that's there if you guys actually see any weapons let me know or if you can actually identify those weapons but yeah i'm assuming they're gonna use all these weapons to do something you know nobody just stockpiles a bunch of weapons like that for no reason especially like a game like ready or not and then this is the last scene where they basically get the flower head and put it on top of this guy that's sitting here or no i think he's actually standing he's standing there with his hands palms open facing upwards as they put the flower hat over his head so i'm assuming that they already did the ritual and now he's been becoming the leader i turned it up brighter but i'm not seeing too much of a difference here i can't tell if there's any like blood stains on him or anything but it's interesting nonetheless the one thing that i want to say about this scene is that there's three of everything here you got three leaves you got three henchmen you got a coronation going on here which is interesting and it gets closer and closer to the guy's face and just for a slight second you can see the color of the leaf that's inside you know like when i said that their hearts were once pure of gold this is probably showing how there still might be something left but as i try to get a closer look it just cuts the white noise and if you look really close in the white noise you can actually see the flower spreading its wings so as he gets engulfed in the darkness and distortion the flower begins to spread its wings or sprout also i turned up the brightness of the flower here you know just to look at you know better look at his uniform but i noticed that the text on ready or not is actually kind of bloody which is kind of interesting i don't know if that's supposed to be like that but i found it when i turned up the brightness so i mean it's very interesting also the bar that's on the right of the screen it lit up when i had the brightness up so i'm not sure if that means anything that's the only time throughout this video that i've actually seen any of the bars actually light up like maybe if somebody does like a inverted effect on the right bar that might come up with something i do it myself but i'm not sure how to do that i just got this new editing system and so far it looks pretty good it's free how's my editing looking so far let me know down below but yeah that is pretty much the video now let's talk about a deeper meaning so throughout the video you'll notice that there's a bunch of white flashes throughout the video and i think the purpose of it is to tell you the truth like what's really going on here the white represents the glimpse of truth it shows you what's behind the facade of all the darkness and distortion of what's going on at least that's what i think if you have a different theory let me know as for the name of the video it's called evidence so i'm assuming this is evidence of what the cult has actually been up to but we're not seeing the full picture here we're only seeing like a you know a piece of it the evidence of mwlw doing their mini rituals and whatnot and uh yeah so the last thing that i want to talk to you about is the audio itself Some of you might have heard the audio somewhere before and if you haven't let's speed it up a little bit maybe maybe this will catch your ear For those who still don't get it, this is the Yankee Doodle Dandy song. Not the full version, but pieces of it put together in the background of the video. And I'm not entirely sure what verses are being featured here, so I'm not sure what's being sung or if it's actually important at all. If somebody would like to look that up, or if somebody who's really good with instruments can tell me what part of the tune that song is, that would be very helpful. But yeah, this song was created before the Revolutionary War, I believe. From what I understand, it was actually decently popular in uh, England. France, Holland, Hungary, Spain, and all that. But we mostly know it from the Revolutionary War. You see, this was a song that was sung by the British to make fun of Americans or Yankees, colonial Yankees. It basically meant to the British that they were stereotyping American soldiers to be Yankee simpletons. And it was actually popular among Americans too because they thought of it as a song of defiance and they added verses to the song that mocked the British troops. So basically, the British make a song to make fun of American rebels, American rebels turn it into a patriotic song is what happened here. 
So with this song being included in the video, I can think of one of two things. But before I get to that, let me just add something here. When I went online trying to look for, uh, you know, Yankee Doodle Dandy and Carcosa, you know, I just typed that in. I ended up finding something from a book that I haven't talked about in such a long time called LA Rex. If anybody's ever watched the previous videos, we talked about LA Rex a long time ago because it was very parallel to the story that we were listening from the judge's point of view, which judge is the main protagonist of Ready or Not. And there is a paragraph in the book on page 84 that features Yankee Doodle Dandy. It says here, deep into wars, I'm assuming that's a city, Big Ben offered his story as the justificatory trauma. In other words, he's serving proof or justification for a deeply distressing or disturbing experience that forever defined the course of his life. It had a beat and you could dance to it. All the broad-shouldered, lantern-jawed cops, those Yankee Doodle Dandies, Big Ben had ruined over the years. So apparently Big Ben is a sleazy lawyer. So he's been screwing over people, it seems. Big Ben had ruined over the years. Bore more than a passing resemblance to the bullying shits who tortured the little fat I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. It's interesting how Yankee Doodle Dandy points to this one little paragraph inside of this entire book. So, you know, with the little um, thing at the end there, it kind of makes me detect some anti-Semitism, which leads me to believe that there's two different things that are going on here with this song. So they are either playing this song to mock America because the British used to use it to call colonial Yankees simpletons. So they could be mocking the United States and going their own way, or what I think is far more likely because of the Betsy Ross flag, maybe they're playing it because they feel that they are the true Americans. Remember back then, the Americans turned that song into a patriotic song, that they are the true race. I mean, if we were to believe that that LA Rex paragraph has anything to do with it, then I could detect some anti-Semitism. So who knows? I'm not saying that they're Nazis, but is that what it's implying? Like it's American supremacy? It's a possibility. I wouldn't doubt it, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I'm really going to talk about here. If I miss anything let me know down in the comments below and tell me what your thoughts on all of this stuff is do you guys have your own running theories in the background that i should know about let me know down below and uh yeah i think that'll do it for this video if you're someone that enjoys the fact that i cover ready or not and other games just like it be sure to like share the video and comment so i can get past that algorithm if you're someone that's new be sure to subscribe and ding the bell maybe you'll find something you like if you're someone that wants to support the channel check out my patreon if you're operative thank you for the generous 200 donation i do not deserve it thank you man you were what keeps the dream alive and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye